Good morning from Echo Lake. It is late spring and today I'm going to be hiking Mount Evans from Echo Lake. For a full hike review of Mount Evans from Echo Lake, you can check the link below. This review will also apply to Summit Lake as well. It's the same route essentially, it's just a bit longer if you're starting from Echo Lake. Uh, so about 17 miles round trip from here. And uh, I'll put a timestamp in the link below, or in the description below, so you can see where uh, to start watching if you're starting from Summit Lake. You're gonna be looking for the lodge here, and then looking to start the trail right here. Uh, if you do park, Echo Lake is back there. If you do park along the road and are somehow uh, parked back there a bit, you can always work around the lake the other way and just join up with the Chicago Lakes Trail, which is gonna start on the southwest corner of the lake. As you can see, Echo Lake Trail here is very well traveled, even in the winter. So snowshoes won't be necessary for the first bit. I did bring them today, but not sure if I'll need them. Uh, Mount Evans does get wind blown and the snow tends to melt out a bit quicker than other 14ers. After about a half mile of hiking, you're gonna reach your trail junction here and you're basically gonna take a left. It says straight, but you're gonna be coming at it from this angle. So take a left onto the Chicago Lakes Trail, which heads up this way. Shortly after you reach your first trail junction, you may reach this one here. Um, this left is gonna take you up to Mount Evans Road, which you do not want. So you're just gonna continue right through these rocks here. Just about a mile in and get some good views of where you're going. Beautiful, beautiful up here. Just crossed that little creek and about 1.5 miles into the hike now, you have done nothing but lose elevation. So going down to work across that creek was about a 400 uh, feet loss of elevation. And the total elevation on this hike is 5,600 feet. So definitely have got a ways to go in terms of elevation gain. Once you cross that creek, you're gonna be transported magically onto uh, the road here. The sign there says, trail follows road next one mile. So pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, so about halfway up the hill here, you get some pretty views. And you're now at the reservoir here that uh, serves Idaho Springs, so don't piss in it. Basically gonna continue around the lake here and then enter the wilderness shortly after this. Reach the uh, wilderness boundary and official trailhead. So obviously we're here, started over here. Gotta continue up to the Chicago Lakes to Summit Lake, wrap around to the ridge and then up to Evans. According to the trailhead from here, it's about 6.3 miles and 4,000 feet of elevation until you get to the summit of Mount Evans, which is a 14er, obviously. Be sure to fill out a permit as well. Another beautiful day. Winds are not too bad right now. Sun is shining and that's the definition of a bluebird day. Once you're kind of here, you're just gonna be skirting around. Listening to some Selena Gomez and about four miles into the hike. I'm pretty sure I'm a little bit off the standard summer trail, but there are a couple of people ahead of me. So I've just been following their tracks and there's a pretty well-established trail. It's old, but it's better than breaking trail. So almost to Chicago Lakes. And then from there, 
the real elevation begins. Right now I'm only at 11.5 and uh, I've gone four and a quarter miles. So definitely a lot still to gain here. At the lower Chicago Lake now, and you can see the upper one just above that little bluff. Just a beautiful basin up here, beautiful. So from here, you're basically just gonna hug this cliff band right here to get up to the upper lake. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how steep that is with the snow conditions. A little boulder field here, the lower lake is right over there and just kind of keep skirting your way up. So I just spent all this time slowly and carefully navigating through here and I'm pretty sure there's a trail right there that avoids this whole section. Gotta love spring hiking. Once you uh, kind of get closer to the upper lake, you're just gonna skirt your way up. Try to avoid the left side as much as possible. As you can see, Cornus's little ones will tend to form, but uh, just stick to the right side where the snow level isn't as deep. Finally made it up to the upper lake here. Very pretty, not a soul in sight. So from here, basically you're gonna cross this rock pile here and then skirt the trail right all underneath this cliff band and then get up to Summit Lake, which is right there. Right about now, I'm gonna pop on my micro spikes, take out my mountain ax, uh, you can check out all the gear that I recommend using for this hike in the description below. Uh, and you can purchase all of them in the links below as well. So I thought I was going to pop on the spikes, but I actually did some trail restoration here and there's not a half bad trail. Looking back down to the upper Chicago Lake, a beautiful basin up here. You, you head up like pretty much straight and then right across this snow field here, uh, you're going to head over to the right. Uh, I'm a little off trail, but it's because uh, the standard route was going through some snow. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. So I found some halfway decent rock here. And it's more like class two high, two, three, low three maybe, uh, but it's solid, which is nice and it's dry. So the sun's kind of blocking since it's right there, but basically I'm gonna see, I'm gonna kind of get to like this point right here and then look over and see if I can dryly traverse across to where I should be. Uh, but in either case, the long-term goal is to start going up this ridge here. Um, so I gotta go right eventually. Back on the summer trail now. Man, this slope, it's been a real pain in the ass so far. It's just so slow going. I'm getting closer to the top and Summit Lake is my next big destination. Boy, I'm ready to be out of this section and already not looking forward to coming down because it's gonna suck. Dude, I am so over this. Oh, finally exiting off of this damn slope. I'm gonna try to probably go like that or maybe just straight up. Looking back, I have to say, these sounded much worse, these little slopes here. There's a decent amount of exposure, but it's not like anything you have to really worry about. So general trail down there around the lake. Finally, at Summit Lake. Man, that was a freaking haul up that hill. 
So if you're starting at Summit Lake, you can start watching the video here. You'd be parking over here by the restrooms and you're gonna wanna walk around this side of the lake. This is the north east side of the lake. Once you get over here, there's gonna be two trails. One that goes kind of lower and basically just walks around the lake. The one you're gonna to wanna to take goes higher up the ridge here. This is an overview of your way up to Mount Spaulding. So basically gonna go like that, hit the ridge, and stick to the ridge all the way to Mount Spaulding, which is right there. And then you can see some of your rem remaining route, but it's gonna be on the other side of the, the ridge here. So your first step is to ascend this hill here. The lake is right there. Uh, I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe these, these rocks here, we'll see. If you're starting your hike up the 14er Mount Evans from Summit Lake, right here, it's about five miles round trip and about 2,000 feet of elevation gain. So still a pretty good day, even if you're starting way up here. been doing some bushwhacking because the trail's covered in snow and I don't feel like dealing with that. You got Mount Werner somewhere back there. Looking forward, essentially, in the summer, the trail is going to skirt your way all the way up to there. There's a cairn like right there. So I'm just going to head up there to Mount Spaulding, which is a 13er. From there, you kind of take a left and start working your way over to Evans, which is only it's less than a mile away from the, as the bird flies, but it's a good mile or so of hiking at least. Summit, Mount Spaulding. Boy, was it a pain to get up here. It feels good. Finally on Mount Spaulding, 13,008 uh, something. Uh, you can see over to Mount Bierstadt. Some people like to call it Mount Walmart. And then over to Evans. So essentially from here, you're gonna drop down and then head over to the ridge up to Evans. It's about a half mile from here. And uh, yeah, pretty up here. Looking back to Mount Spaulding. Uh, so the trail just kind of went like that. And then, uh, yeah, you're kind of just, this hump here, you want to just like aim right there. So to the right of it. You don't want to go too high on the ridge. Looking over to the Sawtooth and then uh, Mount Beerstad. Right on the uh, little hump here. And man, it's just so depressing. That's where I started. Well, that's where I started from the Summit Lake all the way up to Mount Spaulding and then basically just kind of straight across here. This is a sight for sore eyes though because it's pretty much dry over here from what it looks like, which is great because it means that Hopefully we'll not be dealing with any more snow until I get to the summit of Mount Evans. Once you're here, you're going to want to drop down. There's like massive cairns, so you can't really miss them. And then work over. You don't need to go up there. It's just a complete waste of elevation gain. Because you're going to go down eventually before you get to the true summit of Mount Evans. Better look at this beautiful lake. Uh, so yeah, this is the big cairn I've been aiming for. And then once you get to that one, there's going to be more that round you around the corner, bring you to the top of Mount Evans. Uh, I always forgot how arduous this last crossover is. It's just so boring. 
the views are great, but you just like have to pick a line and there's a bunch of different trails. And so yeah, just try to stay in the middle. I've said this before on my other trips up to Beers, uh, to Mount Evans, but uh, yeah, you just um, don't want to go too high, don't want to go too low. And it's kind of hard to do sometimes. Weather is beautiful though. It's basically windless right now. I'm actually pretty hot, so when I get to the summit, I'm gonna shed my wind pants, shed this puffy jacket and put on my lighter one. And uh, it's just take a little break, although I don't have much time because it's already at 2.15. I got a long way down still. Always my favorite part about Evans, the mountain goats. And there's sure to be more over that way. Look at this. Beautiful, such a beautiful animal. There's a whole bunch of them back there. And I'm sure as I round this corner, there'll be more. But anyway, uh, final stretch here and just round on this corner and you'll see the summit of Mount Evans very soon. Nine miles of hiking later. And here we are at the summit of Mount Evans. Holy hell, I'm tired. Not a soul in sight. Very weird. But this is my fourth time up Mount Evans. I've never actually even been over here. I always go right up to the summit. And I'm not, I don't care about doing that today. But I'm gonna just go explore these buildings over here. And the uh, saddle, uh, telescope. That's the true summit up there. I, again, I'm not gonna hike that. These are the views looking east down into Evergreen and the other foothills, Denver's. It's impossible to make out on this camera, but it's right there. And then of course the highway, which is not open yet, of course. And uh, yeah, so if you're looking straight down here, there is a variation to go back down this way and then take a left and walk on the road a bit to get to Summit Lake. I am honestly considering that given the low snow level here and more direct route that it offers. Ooh, top of Mount Evans, not the true summit, but I'm gonna give a couple of notes here. I gotta be quick. So it's three o'clock. It's taken me uh, like seven hours to get here. So I got a long trip back down. I think I'm gonna just take the proper Northeast slopes. So it's just basically going straight down uh, from from here, um, about nine miles here, and uh, about 4,300 feet of elevation gain. So uh, yeah, this is a really tough one. Uh, this is probably gonna be a tougher day than Pikes Peak, believe it or not, just because of the snow, uh, the amount of snow and the inconsistency of the coverage. So uh, yeah, um, if I had to compare Summit Lake Evans and Bierstadt from Guanella Pass, I would say, Beerstadt's easier. Uh, Mount Evans is, you have to gain uh, Mount Spaulding first. So you have to gain a peak and then lose elevation and then regain it. So uh, they're not, you know, they're both gonna stay in the same rankings that I originally put them, uh, but it just uh, putting those two in order, I'd say Beerstadt is definitely easier. Um, in terms of like the winter closure of Beerstadt versus going all the way from Echo Lake, again, Beerstadt is significantly easier, even with the extra mileage, because it's just gonna be a ridiculously long day. Um, I wouldn't recommend bringing dogs on this. Uh, in the summer, of course you could, uh, as long as they're on the leash, but in the winter, I would keep them at home. Um, for gear, I ended up using um, micro spikes, and on the way down, I'm definitely gonna use my hiking poles to descend these slopes, because they're steep. I didn't use the mountain ax at all today, uh, but it's probably good to have one if you're coming here in the winter. I didn't have gaiters, but I have my windproof pants on, which are pretty much the same thing. So gaiters are probably good um, as well. But yeah, it's cool to be up here. Uh, I've never been in this part of the Mount Evans Observatory before because I just hate being around people up here. Um, but yeah, it's cool. So uh, I'm gonna head down and make a very hopefully quick pace of it while being careful, of course, uh, and I'll, let you know how long it 
takes me and I'll you know wrap this up uh, back at the car. I'm not going to show you the whole way down but I did want to show you this initial descent here. So basically where I started was right about there and uh, just kind of used my best skill to find a safe descent. I would not recommend this even in the summer I've come down this as well. Um, it's not fun so you can go back over to Spalding I would recommend that or Better yet, if you can get a ride down, that's probably the best bet for you. Holy crap. This is one of the tougher days I've had in a long time. Uh, so almost back to um, Echo Lake, and I figured I'd film here when I got a nice backdrop, and I'm not a complete noodle, even though I'm about 75% noodle right now. Uh, so this is gonna be about a 17 to 18 mile hike. It was really tough. Um, and the reason there's such a big variance in that is because on the way down, I went a little bit different of the way of the way than the way up, uh, mainly above the Chicago lakes. Yeah, that's all I got. I don't know. Uh, Mount Evans uh, was tough, man. Like, and I honestly don't know how much the snow on the way down. I was post holing a bit, so that really sucked. But. Still, this is just a long day, and right, this this like little hill that I'm working up now to get back to Echo Lake, uh, it's like a real kick in the teeth after your legs have gone through a lot. It's a solid four or five hundred feet of elevation gain to end your day. So, yeah, just a tough one. Um, but really, really happy that I was able to summit and get down uh, okay. I mentally checked out like three times today and just kept pushing. So happy i did that so for a full hike review of mount evans from both echo lake which i'm not back to yet and summit lake which is way behind me check the link below i'll have more information about how to get here seasonal closures dog friendly gear you need all that fun stuff uh, if you've hiked mount evans recently whether it be from summit lake or echo lake leave the trail conditions in the pinned comment below uh, thanks for watching. I know this is going to be a long one, so I appreciate all you guys. And please subscribe not to miss any hike-related content. And as always, see you on the next adventure. Although after today, it might be for a while. <laughs>